Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Josh and this is your stimulus check update for the next stimulus package for Sunday, March 21st. I hope everyone is off to a good and safe start to their Sunday so far. In this video, I'll be discussing updates in regards to the current relief package and the third stimulus check. I'll also be discussing payment dates for people still waiting to receive their checks, what you can do to receive alerts to see exactly when your check is going to arrive, and then I'll be wrapping up this video by answering some of the comments and questions that I received in my previous video. But first, if you wouldn't mind real quickly, liking this video, give me a big thumbs up. It really just helps with the YouTube algorithm in terms of pushing this video out to other viewers like you and hopefully helping other people like you as well. Okay, so with the IRS sending out several direct payments last week on the 17th, we can expect even more to come at some point this week as well. Through the payment portal, many people are already reporting a date of March 26th for when the IRS expects to send them a paper check in the mail. Also, last week, the IRS issued around 90 million checks in the mail, so if you received a check or debit card in the first two rounds, be on the lookout for that in the next week or so. Keep in mind, if you received a debit card in the last round, it's possible you may get a check this time around and vice versa. It's also incredibly important that you're diligent about the pieces of mail that you sort through as many people actually accidentally ended up throwing out their stimulus checks during the first two rounds of payments, not realizing what it was. It should come in a white envelope that's clearly marked and you can also sign up for a free service through the US Postal Service called Informed Delivery, which will let you know which pieces of mail are expected to be delivered each and every day. Finally, I would definitely be on the lookout for any scam letters you may be receiving in the mail saying that you must pay something to receive the full amount of your check or anything like that. Unfortunately, during times like these, predators are out in full force looking to take advantage of the most vulnerable. A letter may look very legit like it's actually coming from a government agency, but they will not force you to pay anything or give any information to receive this money. Also, this week and over the next few weeks, more and more people should expect to receive their payments via direct deposit as well. The biggest delay at the moment we're seeing are with people currently on Social Security benefits such as retirement, survivors, SSI, and SSDI. Some of these groups receive paper checks, direct deposit through their bank, or on their direct express cards. If you're currently in this group still waiting for your payment, no worries. The payments are still going out and the IRS has definitely not forgotten about you. Unfortunately, just like the first two rounds, these payments are not all going out at once. Instead, they're going out in waves, so it's possible that it could take just a few more weeks in order for you to receive it. Also, there's no real pattern for who the IRS is sending these payments out to first. They are not going by alphabetical order, geographical location, or anything like that, just completely random. So again, I know it's incredibly frustrating having to wait for such a long period of time, and I'm very sorry for that. I do wish the IRS could be quicker, and if it was up to me, everyone would have received their payment the first day that the bill was signed into law. You would think, considering they've already sent out two rounds of payments, that they could be quicker, but considering they're also processing tax returns, that could be why it's taking just a little bit longer. Again though, don't be surprised if you do end up receiving your payment at some point this week if you're expecting a direct deposit, whether that's in your bank or through Direct Express. Even though Direct Express's Twitter says some people may not get paid until the next few weeks, and if you call them, they say several weeks, some people have already received their payments, and even more should be coming in this week as well. In the meantime, as always, continue checking the payment portal, which even though it isn't perfect, is still the best resource in finding out exactly when you should expect to receive your payment. Okay, so at this point in time, I'm gonna move right along to answering some of the comments and questions that I received in my previous video. And if you do have any other comments or questions for me, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I do try to answer as many of the comments and questions as I possibly can. Both of those comments and questions I'm not able to respond to. I do try to pick some of the more popular ones to answer in the next video in video form. Okay, so without further ado, let me go ahead and jump into the first comment this video, which is from Joseph. Joseph says, Hey Josh, my girlfriend got these stimulus today 
and we have two kids but only got $2,400. We have a new baby that she claimed this year on her taxes as well. Are we entitled to the $1,400 for the new baby? Okay, thank you so much for your question. And yes, once the IRS processes her tax returns this year, then they'll send an additional $1,400 for her new dependent. Since you only received $2,400 though, that seems like an odd number, unless one of your incomes was higher than $75,000, but not above the $80,000 phase out period. If you or her earn between $75,000 and $80,000 per year, considering you'd both be filing a single, you would still receive a payment, but it would be lower than the full $1,400 amount. So that's possibly why the payment is just a little bit lower than what you expected. Okay, moving right along to the next Comptees video, which is from Gretchelin. Gretchelin says, good morning, Josh. I checked the IRS website and it's saying they do not have enough information on me. When I got Social Security retirement, I received $600 and I also received the $1,200 last year. So I'm not understanding why I might not receive the $1,400. Can you help me out, please? I would truly appreciate it. Okay, thank you so much for your question. And in this case, even though the payment portal is saying they don't have enough information on you, you should still receive the payment. Since you received the first two payments and since then, nothing should have changed, you should definitely be eligible for this one as well. At some point this week, I would expect that the payment portal will update, giving you a status on your payment. In the meantime, try not to worry too much as it definitely seems that you are going to be eligible for this payment. At this point, it's just a matter of when and at latest, I would expect to receive it within the next few weeks. All right, moving along to the next Comptees video, which is from Foge. Foge says, still waiting on my first and all stimulus checks and had not received any answers. Okay, thank you so much for your question. And first off, I'm very sorry that you still haven't received any of your direct payments. In this case, for the first two payments at least, you may not have received them if you were being claimed as the dependent on someone else's tax returns. Unfortunately, dependents over the age of 17 were not deemed eligible to receive these payments. However, for the most recent round of $1,400 checks, dependents over the age of 17 are eligible for the money. Another reason you may not have received the first two rounds of payments if you aren't on Social Security benefits is if you didn't file a tax return within the last two years. Since those on Social Security benefits aren't usually required to file a tax return, you would be okay. Otherwise, you would be required to do so in order to receive the payments. In this case, if you're not being claimed as a dependent, what you can do to receive the first two direct payments is to file a quick tax return this year claiming an $1,800 credit on it. This $1,800, of course, is the combined amount from the first two stimulus payments. Then, once the IRS processes your returns this year, they should send you the $1,400 from the most recent payment on top of the $1,800 you would be claiming as a tax refund. Okay, moving right along to the next Comptees video, which is from Ornell. Ornell says, hey Josh, I have three kids, a six-year-old, two-year-old, and one not born yet. If I receive the advanced child tax credit now for my kids, will that affect me getting the credit for them when I file next year? Okay, thank you so much for your question. And yes, since you would be receiving the child tax credit payments in advance this year, you would not be able to claim them when you go to file your taxes next year. However, once the IRS is able to get their portal loaded on their website, there will be an option where you can decline to receive the payments in advance and instead choose to claim the credits next year as a tax refund. In this case, you would be declining to receive the $300 monthly payments for your children under the age of six, for example, and instead electing to claim it all at once as a credit on your tax returns next year. So that's really completely up to you whether you'd like to receive the payments in advance on a monthly basis or all in one lump sum payment, but several months later on. In your case, for this year alone, you'd be eligible for a child tax credit of $10,200. This is because on December 31st of this year, you'll have two children under the age of six, which you'll receive $3,600 for, and one child aged six to 17, who you'll receive $3,000 for. So again, it really doesn't matter when you receive the money, but if you decide to take the payments in advance, you won't be able to double dip and take the credit for next year as well. All right, so on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. If you did enjoy the content in this video and you'd like to see more videos like it, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. It is completely free to do so, and it's a great support to me. 
Also, if you'd like to receive two free socks from Weeble, valued up to $1,800, or one free sock from Robinhood, just for signing up and linking your bank account, please feel free to claim those free stocks by clicking the link in the description box below. And finally, if you join Rakuten with my referral link in the description box below and spend at least $30, Rakuten will give you $30 cash back. This means you can buy an item through Rakuten with one of their referral links, such as Nike, for $30, and Rakuten will give you $30 just for making that purchase. This is just an incredible deal that we'd love for everyone to take advantage of. Okay, so until next time, I'll see you guys and hope you have a great day today.